Jellyfish have no brains, no bones, and no butts. Yet they're animals, just like us. And while we think about breakups and taxes and knowing that our existence means nothing in the grand scheme of the universe, jellyfish are not thinking at all. Humans are so silly, being all conscious and self-aware and stuff. Perhaps that's why we seem to take solace in the one time of day where we get to not be conscious, while still being alive. Sleeping. Ah, good ol' sleep. One of the hardest things for me to start, yet when I get going it seems I never want to stop. We sleep so that we can recharge and relax, and handle all the things that we'll do tomorrow when we're all awake and conscious again. Sleep is one of the weirdest things. Everyone has different sleeping habits, sleeping patterns, sleeping rituals, and there is a lot we don't know about sleep, like a lot. We are constantly learning about new functions and new properties of sleep. To us, the most notable characteristic of sleep is probably the unconsciousness. But jellyfish don't have a central nervous system, so they're never conscious. They're a very ancient design of a life form. So how do we even know if they sleep? It's not like they snore or give any obvious indication of sleep. Well, one thing that has been noted is that they are less active in the night than during the day. But I don't know if that's enough to say that they sleep, right? We can't really just say, hey, they're floating around doing nothing, they must be sleeping because they definitely just float around and do nothing sometimes when they're awake. Plus, doing less is not the same as being asleep. Maybe they just do less during the night because everything else is asleep and they don't have to do as much. So basically, if the jellyfish was sleeping, it'd be hard for us to know what that would even look like. But scientists are pretty clever sometimes, and they can come up with some pretty cool ideas for experiments. So some researchers took Cassiopeia jellyfish, which are really cool because they like to be upside down sometimes, and placed a hollow cylindrical tube around it. They let it slowly fall through the water, and when the top of the container touched the jelly, um, it would obviously get startled and it would start squirming away, as they do, reflexively. But when they measured the reaction time of this, they found that when they did this to jellyfish in the nighttime, their reaction speed was a lot slower than the ones in the day. So it took significantly longer for them to react to the container touching them and to start swimming away. So the same jellyfish in the day will react faster than that jellyfish during night. But what's especially convincing about this experiment is that scientists repeated the same container drop on jellyfish that they already did it on during the nighttime. And when they did it for the second time, their mean reaction speeds were no longer slower than the ones in the daytime. Almost as if the first drop had woken it up and now it had been awake. And so it reacted to the second one already awoken. If that's not enough to convince you, uh, there's another study that's a little more cruel. It was pretty simple. Basically, scientists just really bothered a jellyfish all throughout the night. And the next day, they would measure how many actions it would do. And of course, its mean actions per minute were slowed down. The reason this was used to help prove that they sleep was because the effect was directly proportional to how much they were fucking with it during the nighttime. So the more they kind of poked around at it, the more tired it would be the next day, and the more likely it would be driven to fall back asleep. So basically the scientists just showed that they could induce sleep deprivation in the jellyfish. So next time you're sleep deprived, just remember that a jellyfish has felt that way too. So hopefully that's enough to convince you that jellyfish do sleep, even if it looks a bit different than our sleep. Because there are actually three criteria that brainless animals need to meet in order to prove that they can sleep, and these experiments did show that jellyfish meet all of them. But why do jellyfish even need to sleep? Well, it's probably for the same reasons as us. It turns out that it's not consciousness that is so energetically draining that we need to shut off once per day, but life itself is. Consciousness is just a life trait that we have, but sleep is responsible for recharging all of life's traits. Every trait that every animal has costs energy, needs to be relaxed sometimes, and needs to be fixed. Sleep manages all all of that. And by the way, jellyfish sleep suggests that sleep is an evolutionarily ancient thing, because we diverged from jellyfish like 600 million years ago. That means that sleep is a conserved trait formed way back up the tree of life. And as much as we like to think that sleep is used to recharge our body and mind, things were sleeping way before they had bodies and way before they had minds. Things were sleeping before they were walking, and things were sleeping before they were thinking. It's like sleep is this basic, rooted, fundamental requirement for life to thrive. And that's probably why sleep is so important. Because if sleep developed 600 million years ago before most of our other traits, then most likely our other traits were formed with the support of sleep. So without sleep, we couldn't have supported moving onto land and definitely not thinking. Anyways, 
I just thought that jellyfish sleeping was really cool. It shows how primal of a thing sleep is, and it really deeply connects us all as life forms. It also makes me think that I'm probably not sleeping as much as I should, because I tend to not do that. And uh, I'll try to do that more. And you should probably sleep more too, if you're not. Don't sleep on sleep. I couldn't think of anything more clever than that, so... Uh...